up? How's it going? It's your boy, the legend, coming at you from Nickelodeon Universe, the Nickelodeon themed theme park here at the Mall of America. I'm gonna show you around. This place is awesome. I, I really like it. So many cool, unique rides. It's all indoors, all under one giant roof here in the largest mall in the country. And I really like it. I got Molly with me as always. And we're gonna show you guys around the uh, super fun Nickelodeon universe. We're now here by the park's biggest roller coaster, and that is the SpongeBob SquarePants Rock Bottom Plunge. Also got to say, this ride has one of the best signs out of any theme park attraction anywhere. The sign with SpongeBob and Patrick in their little car is absolutely 100% fantastic. The ride itself is a Gerschlauer Eurofighter. And I love it because, well, first of all, this first drop, you go in between that beam and that beam. So it's like you're going almost through the roof. And it's a pretty intense ride for a park that's uh, mostly known for its kids' rides. It's a uh, pretty, pretty intense. You get it going down the first drop here, and then a big old loop. And actually, I thought it was smoother today when I rode it than when I rode it a couple years ago, which is a good sign. <clears throat> it's got a couple of inversions on there, a couple of heels. You know, not an especially long ride because, well, it's in a mall. <laughs> and it takes up kind of a small footprint, but it's still uh, really, really fun. You know, excellent for this mall to have such an exciting ride like this. And that's it. SpongeBob SquarePants Rock Bottom Plunge. Coming at you now from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shell Shock attraction. And this is one I, I really, really like here at the Mall of America. It's a Gerschlauer Skyfly, and a really rare. I believe it's the only one in the country. And you, uh, you get to rock back and forth on your little glider. Unfortunately, on this train, there's only one person on it. And uh, he's really not rocking back and forth that much, but uh, you could go all the way upside down and really, really get spinning. And then the ride itself is really, really detailed. You can see, um, I'm gonna wait for this to go around again, but the back of all the little turtles have all of the different uh, weapons on it of all the various turtles. And it's got a great, uh, as far as flat rides go, and it's not the easiest thing to theme a flat ride, but this one actually has some, some cool theming. It's got a great sewer drain entrance to it. And one of my favorite ride-out boots I've ever seen as it's themed to the uh, Antonio's Pizza from the, uh, the TV shows and the comics. Also, I, I really like this ride because it's a great visual dynamic for the park because you swoop around there and right there is a big giant opening of the mall. So you see the second level of the mall, you see the third level on the mall, all as you might be flipping upside down in your turtle vehicle. So it's a, a great ride, I love this one a lot. Guys, we are now coming at you from my favorite ride here at the Mall of America, and that is the Log Shoot, the park's log loom ride. One of the few rides in the park <laughs> that is not themed to the Nickelodeon characters, and this is a absolutely wonderful ride. It's in this awesome corner of the park where it's a, a, a big giant mountain with tons of waterfalls and water features. It interacts with the orange streak, so the, the orange streak, the roller coaster, actually runs through the middle of the log flume, so you could, uh, you could wave at the people on the roller coaster while you're on the log flume. And uh, it's got two drops, you wouldn't know it by looking at it, there's a drop that's hidden. So I mean, the, the ride is fantastic. And for me, I'm a big theming guy, I love animatronics. The, the, the ride has animatronics, and not only that, it's got some giant animatronics as well. It's got a, a great giant uh, Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox that have to be like 20 or 30 feet tall. So this is an absolutely 100% fantastic, wonderful ride. I easily have this as one of the top five log plumes in the entire country, and by far my favorite ride here at the Mall of America. So I don't normally need to film all the kiddie rides here, but I did this one over here. It's uh, Diego's Rescue Rider, and I love that the bus has a smiley face. Like that, that is an adorable ride. Coming at you now from the Dutchman's Deck Complex here in the, uh, the Nick Universe of the Mall of America, which is home to a bunch of different upcharge attractions. And let me tell you guys, we just got off and these are a whole bunch of fun. Uh, one of the three is a zip line where you zip across the entire park. And it's really cool because you zip down right into that big old target type thing. And then you get to zip back. 
and that's a lot of fun. After you're done with the zip line, the next part, you've got a four-story RCI ropes course, which is a lot of fun. Not, not the most challenging of uh, obstacles, but uh, super duper fun. You've got the, and the walk the plank up there at the top, and uh, a good ropes course, fun. And then the, the cream on top, you've got the, uh, the two giant slides that you, you get on a mat and you go all the way down. This one, they have like LED lights that follow you as you go down. And uh, a lot of fun. I mean, I, I love the slides, I love the zip line. You, the ropes course gets really, really high because it's, it's a, a four-story ropes course that's already on top of a building. And then I've never got to do anything like these. I've got to do some stuff like these slides, but uh, I love the slides. I love the zip line. The whole thing was good. If you buy a wristband of the park, this uh, doing the zip line, the slides, and everything, it just costs you 12 bucks. So, um, and we were doing like the, between the three of them, it probably took us a good 45 minutes. And uh, I, I definitely think I got my money's worth. That was definitely a highlight of the day so far. It's something we haven't done here before at the Mall of America. Uh, Molly, you're not normally the biggest fan of stuff like this. How do you uh, how do you like the uh, the Dutchman's deck experience? I like the zip line, and I like the slack. I'm not a big ropes course person. No. Nope. Terrifying experience in college. I give you credit though. You went up on the ledge. I did. I backed up very slowly from the ledge. You did. It was quite hilarious. But that is the uh, the Dutchman's deck complex here, and uh, man, this this was very cool. Definitely a highlight here at the Mall of America. So the first one I want to show off to all you guys is the Fairly Odd Coaster. This is the park's spinning uh, wild mouse style coaster built by Gerslauer. And I love this ride because it is so, it's a ride that's been cloned multiple times, but it was designed first for this park and it weaves in and out of other rides and around the various pillars and things like that. And it's got some really intense parts. Like I love this part here. And uh, super fun, depending on how you sit, it might spin a lot, might not spin a lot. And it's a very pretty ride. It's got this whole segment here where it goes all the way around the park's uh, swing ride. And it's just super duper fun. Dude. Not too much more you can say about this besides it's cool. And I, I just love the design. I mean, look how it's all built around this pillar here. Like, it's an awesome ride. Here's the Bubble Guppies Guppy Bubbler or something like that. Uh, it's one of these Samba Towers, but it's really, really well themed with your seashell style cars, little happy fish, and then a big dog on top. So a, a very cute and very, very well themed one of these rides. You see these rides a lot of places. You don't normally see them as well as this one is here. Hanging out now by my favorite roller coaster in the park, the Nickelodeon Orange Streak. And this is cool, it's like a, a mine train style roller coaster, but I love it because it uh, it goes throughout the entire park. Pretty much every single corner of the park, this thing ends up in. And as you see the first drop right here, and it weaves in and out of every single ride. It almost kind of doubles as a monorail kind of thing, but uh, it, it's, it's not really thrilling, not really fast, but it's just so fun because you go and weave in and out and you go right past all these flat rides flying in your face. You go past the giant peep. You go past Flyover America. It's, it's um, really great. And uh, more so than anything else, I think it, it just shows how the amazing design of this place, how this ride can weave in and out and around of so many different rides. Of course, it's got the great segment where it goes into the log flume and then it, it goes around, you know, Jimmy Neutron's Atomic Blaster and goes around the spinning coaster. So I really love the Orange Freak. Out of the five roller coasters here, it's absolutely my favorite. If you come in through one of the big entrances of the mall over here by the, the, the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Mutant Masher, they've got this great, fantastic photo op where you sit on this wonderful slime bench that Molly's showing off. So, so when you're sitting on the bench, sometimes it'll do stuff. <coughs> Like, like make farting and belching noises. So uh, again, very, very neat. Something else new for me at the mall here is Fly Over America. And uh, first, the big thing about this, while it's in the Nickelodeon universe here at the Mall of America, it is not included with your admission, much like the, uh, the ropes course and zip lines. This is an extra charge. If you get a, uh, if you do get your, your wristband here, you can get this for only 10 bucks. Normal prices are uh, $16.95. And this, if you've been on Soarin' at Walt Disney World or Disney California Adventure, it, you, you get the idea. It, it's the same kind of flight, uh, hang gliding simulator type ride. 
And it's a, uh, honestly, it surprised me. It was really good. It was really, really good. Um, a long ride. I mean, the ride itself is probably seven or eight minutes. You go to like 25 or 26 different places across the country. And uh, the ride system, very similar to Soarin', except you layer it. You board on multiple levels, which is definitely different. Uh, you watch a really odd pre-show where they sing the blues, country music, and rap. You uh, the safety information about the ride, but the ride itself was was really really good. I I was impressed, very impressed by this. I thought it was going to be like a cheap Soarin' knockoff, and it was not. It was I, honestly it was almost as good as Soarin' is over California. It's just that you know Soarin' at the Disney parks, it's a little bit on a larger scale. You get that full IMAX dome and uh, a clearer digital HD projection. But uh, this this wowed me. Uh, Molly, you've been on the Soarin', both the new one and the old one. What are your thoughts on Soarin' over America, uh, Fly Over America here? Fly Over America. It was uh, very impressive. The only negative I say, uh, I have to say about it, is that not all the pictures were completely high def. No, some of them were a little blurry. It was a they little were... blurry depending on which way you look down. But some of them were beautiful. But some of, yeah, yeah, no, it was incredible, amazing, and I love how when you exit, they have yeah. the photos. Yeah, they do. They... And which is cool because there were so many different places throughout there that I, I did not know where we were. And uh, when, when you get off the ride, of course, you got to exit through the gift shop. But on top of that, they've got this great map where you can see all the different places that you've been throughout the ride. So it's actually, uh, it's cool. And it even goes all the way through all, all of America, Alaska, Hawaii. And uh, man, the big thumbs up to this. This is, uh, again, like I'm not really a big fan of upcharge attractions, but uh, you know, you got to do the ropes course, you got to do this if you come over here. Now hanging out by Shredder's Mutant Masher, the second uh, Ninja Turtles theme ride, and the newest ride here at the Mall of America. And I gotta say, this looks great. They've got a, a, a solid amount of theming involved, great orbs and things like that. And then the ride itself is super fun, one of these inverted uh, frisbee type rides, which give you some, some great forces and airtime and things like that. So I'm a big fan of these rides anyway. And this one with the lights and the, the metallic and the shredder theme, I think it, it, it works really, really well. Definitely better, uh, it, it looks a lot better than the old ride that was here. I, it was the big, uh, I don't even know how you would describe that, but uh, a big 101 nights kind of ride. Definitely looks a lot better, it gives you a really fun effect. They've got a great statue of uh, Rocksteady in the queue when you leave. And uh, fun times, good addition here at the Mall of America. This is another one of their adorable rides. The Rugrats Reptar Mobiles is the kitty bumper cars. There's an adult bumper cars and a kitty bumper cars. But guys, come on. Look how cute these bumper cars are. Reptar. They're Reptar. They've got the Rugrats all around the side. But the, I mean, come on. Those bumper cars are just fantastic. So we're now coming at you by Brain Surge, a very unique ride here at the Mall of America. It's a, a unique coaster built by, I think, US Thrill Rides. And these are awesome because you get your own joystick and uh, then your joystick, you can flip yourself upside down as many times as you want. So you can make it a very, very calm ride, or you could flip yourself upside down like crazy. It's a lot of fun, fits in great for the Mall of America, and uh, I like it. I think it, it's unique, it's fun. It, it, if you can get really, really sick, if you want to get really, really sick, you can do it. If you don't want to get really, really sick, you don't have to. So uh, that's Brain Surge, one of the more extreme ones here at the park, and uh, pretty fun. And it's got a giant brain that twirls around. So, I mean, that, that's always a plus. Over here by El Circulo de Cielo, which is a fancy Spanish word saying Door of the Explorer's Ferris wheel. Uh, fun times, uh, a Ferris wheel at a park like this, you get some really great views, especially right next door in the rock bottom plunge. I mean, you could be there, and a roller coaster could be right there, which is really cool. Also, you get a great view of the park. You get to see how the rides are all sort of uh, one on top of the other on top of the other. Plus, it's the one ride you get to take uh, your camera on, so you can take some pictures with you and your family, or take some pictures of the very unique park itself. We're now over here by Splendosphere, the park's drop tower ride. It's a, a Moser creation. Not overly tall. I mean, this thing's probably 50, 60 feet tall. So it, it's really not too frightening. But you do get a nice long ride cycle. It's, it's honestly more of a, a frog hopper type ride than a, a drop tower. But you do get some neat views. And again, like a lot of the rides here, you have the orange streak circles around the ride. So you could be riding this one, and the roller coaster could be right next to you, which creates a really cool uh, experience. 
Ghostbusters is part Sally Dark Ride. Again, not necessarily Nickelodeon themed, but uh, your standard Sally Dark Ride. Definitely one of the older ones, a lot more cardboard cutouts than actual things. But on the good side, the guns work and all the effects work. So when you shoot things, they actually happen, which I, I really like. And uh, you know, these rides, they're just fun. Over here, we have the uh, the park's adult bumper cars, which don't have a strong Nickelodeon tie-in. They, they are kind of wacky and very uh, artsy type of bumper cars. Not, not a strong Nickelodeon tie, but uh, bumper cars are always a good time. And then if I turn around over here, you have what very well might be one of the most adorable rides of them all, the Wonder Pets Flyboat. Look, look, look how cute that is. Little ducks, gerbils, all sorts of stuff. And moving over here, we have the park's kids coaster, which is themed to the uh, the Barnyard Cow TV show, the uh, Barnyard Hayride. And it's cute, you ride in a little tractor type ride vehicle. And yes, don't worry if you're a, uh, a coaster fan and a credit board, you can ride. We didn't ride it this year because we already have the credit. But uh, if you're a coaster credit person, you can ride. One of the park's rare rides that are not themed to the Nickelodeon characters is their carousel. And it's got a, a whole bunch of different horses, a lot of different animals besides just horses, which is always kind of fun. Camels, rabbits, chickens, dragons, all sorts of stuff. A cat holding a fish? No, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, everybody. It's a rooster. That right there from the chicken rooster police has informed me that that is in fact a rooster. Unfortunately, a ride that's closed for our visit this time is the Avatar Airbender, which is a, a big half-pipe roller coaster type ride built by Intamin, and uh, Mall of America operates every single day, 365 days a year. So a lot of times if you do come in the off-season, you're likely to find a ride will be down. Um, the park is really, really good. They have all the uh, rides that are going to be down listed on their website, and you can see like the ride vehicle, I mean the seats and stuff aren't even there. But on their website, they do have all the rides listed that are going to be down, so be sure to check that out before you plan your visit up. But uh, this coaster, really fun, another one of those that takes you right up into the ceiling. Also uh, a ride that's pretty rare and you don't see a lot here in the States. Fun times, just close today. And for the next, uh, for the weeks around this, this time when I'm here. Next ride is Jimmy Neutron's Atomic Collider. Um, I will say I'm not much of a flat ride guy, but this uh, Nickelodeon universe here at the Mall of America has an awesome collection of really, really fun flat rides. And uh, possibly its most unique flat ride is this one here, the Jimmy Neutron Atomic Collider, which is a, uh, a very, very, a very big size flat. Uh, weird looking, unique, and can be really, really fun. You ride in these wacky little ride vehicles that um, sort of go in a Ferris wheel type motion as the ride itself moves around. And uh, I like this one. Uh, the only other one I ever knew that existed of these was at Knott's Berry Farm a while ago, and that's that's been long since removed. Seems to be running very, very slowly at this point, but I, I'm sure I'll probably kick up. It's interesting because different ones are running at different levels. Like, that one's really moving. Okay, there they go. And uh, it's also kind of a mesmerizing ride to watch. Like, you could, uh, you could get hypnotized by watching it. Anyway, I, I like this one. Uh, gives you some good, uh, some good airtime type things. And now it's gonna go up again. Really cool light package on this one. We uh, we got to ride this one at night yesterday and it uh, looks really, really cool with all the different uh, old timey light bulbs. And there they go, crawling into the sky. Again, I feel like I say this about every ride, but if you look around the exterior, Orange Street goes right around the ride. Again, design here at the Mall of America, top notch. And you're kind of getting your, your uh, full height here on the Atomic Collider. And there it goes. That is Jimmy Neutron's Atomic Collider here at the Mall of America. And that'll do it for our adventure here at the Nickelodeon Universe in the Mall of America this time. And I gotta say guys, I, this is the second time I've been to this park. I really like this park a lot. Um, lots of fun rides. It's a, it's a design wonder that this all fits inside of a mall with all these rides on top of rides on top of rides. I, I love the enhancements that they made since the last time we've been here. You know, uh, the Shredder Mutant Ride, that's a lot of fun. It looks great. 
For me, the highlight this trip was sort of the upcharge things that we didn't get to do last time. Like, I love the zip line and the ropes course and the, uh, the Dutchman's deck combination there. And I also really, really, really like the Fly Over America thing. So I, I, I don't normally recommend upcharge attractions, but uh, if you get the chance to uh, do them while you're at the park, definitely check those out because they were uh, well worth the cost of admission. And uh, also, we're here on a weekday uh, during the off season, and uh, there at the lines were, you know, really, really non-existent. We didn't wait for anything, and uh, it's it's a really fun time. Uh, I, I totally recommend it. Uh, it must be so nice for the people in Minnesota to have a, a year-round park that you can come to. You know, if it's when it's like negative twenty and things like that, you can still come here and have an absolute blast. Uh, Molly, what are some of your thoughts? What do you think of this year's trip to the Mall of America? I definitely love their improvements. Uh, though I still love Orange Street and the Flume Ride are my two favorite things. Flyover America was very well done. Highly recommend that. And the zip line. I like the zip line, which is, of course, an upcharge as well. But yeah. highly recommend. Yeah, and I mean, we probably spent between the tickets, Flyover America, and the, the zip line. It cost us a good fifty-seven dollars, but I, I really don't feel like I got, I got ripped off or didn't get my money's worth. Um, so I, I recommend all of it. it. It gets a big thumbs up from me. We want to thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to get videos from all different theme parks and tourist attractions all over the country as we travel different places. We're getting ready to freeze. We're going to Valley Fair tonight for Valley Scare, and it's supposed to be like forty degrees. Which you are, if you we're, we're native Floridians, we are not used to this. I might die. Uh, but uh, here at the Mall of America, it's always the nice, nice air conditioned and heated, so that's a plus. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all next time.